It's always fun to play a villain, you know, a really good villain. Uh, I think there's something especially exciting about the idea of a super genius who has uh, a really deep sense of self-loathing. You know, it's a good comedy explosion that needs to happen, you know? Yes, I was familiar. I've always been lousy at those games, uh, but it doesn't matter because I'm Robotnik. So you see, no matter how good someone gets at the game, I will usually win. I think it's cool because, uh, you know, my, my character has this, what I call a Sonic-shaped hole in his heart, you know what I mean? He's completely lost, he's lost that innocence. Sonic comes in, he's got that electric play, that electric, you know, love of life and, you know, uh, need to have fun. And, you know, uh, Robotnik needs, wants, thinks he can own that, you know, that uh, there's a possibility he could just capture it and own it, you know? And I, so I, I love that and I love the aspect of the AI and the machines taking over. You know, we have cars that drive themselves, and that's a convenience right now, but soon there won't be a steering wheel, and it'll take you to the police station when you have outstanding parking tickets, and, you know, it'll be like that. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Uh, I think it's something anybody can enjoy. You know, I think, I think the kids are going to have a blast, and the parents uh, won't mind being there. Well, I think friendship is uh, obviously a very valuable commodity. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I do love that idea. I love the, the, the theme of loneliness and the theme of, you know, this character, my character, being uh, somebody who has been neglected by the world and uh, has chosen to blame the world and want to own the world and control the world. And I think, you know, there's, there's room for evolution in the character. And, you know, I, I really look forward to, you know, possibly doing another, you know, another couple of them or something. You know, if, that's, if that happens, it'd be a real, a real blast to see where he goes. Because it's not only the machines that control us from the outside, it'll be the machines that control us from the inside, you know, the nanotechnology, you know. You're talking to a person and they're watching a movie in their retina, you know. It'll be hard to get everybody's attention.